Hey guys, today's video is going to be on my Mirica Rubra, also known as the European Fire Ant or the Common Red Ant. I currently only have a single Queen Rubra colony, but I also keep Mirica Raganodis and Mirica Scabronodis. I'm definitely not the best at telling them apart as they are very, very, very similar. The European Fire Ant or Rubra are found all over Europe and are actually now invasive in parts of North America and Asia. Rubra are pretty easy to keep. I don't treat them too differently from my Lassius colonies. The main difference is the humidity. They usually need humidity in the nest to be above 70%. So I do hydrate their nest very often and I just spray down their outwells with just a spray bottle frequently. All my native ants are kept at room temperature but they do best at around 20 to 24 celsius in the nest with the outworld not being so fussy. I've kept mine in acrylic nests, in test tube setups and natural setups and they've all done really well. I've never used Whitong before but that should be perfect for them as well. The queens are fairly small and are around 7 millimeters, but you can have multiple queens in the same colony and the workers are around 4 to 6 millimeters, and of course they are red. I really enjoy keeping rubra and the rugs and the scabs. They have never been fussy with food and seem willing to take any sugar from honey or store-bought ant foods to sugar waters and fruits etc. And the same with protein. I don't live feed mine but I have had headless roaches or headless mealworms and crickets that have still had a little kick left in them and they swarm the food straight away. They are really great to watch. My rubra have never caused me any hassle with trying to escape or anything like that and I just wish I could say the same for my Lassia species. Rubra can sting though, so be aware, but I've never actually been stung by my own colonies. But I have been stung by a wild colony and it wasn't fun. I think when you keep them yourself they get used to you and they don't see you as a threat and they're likely just to see their ant keepers as their food bringers. They do occasionally grab onto my tweezers when I'm doing maintenance and they pinch on and curl their butts around and try to sting them. But I definitely recommend keeping native red ants, especially if you've kept Lassia species before and are looking for something a little bit more exciting but not crazy demands or too difficult to keep. I'm going to leave you with some photos and videos of my European fire ants and some other red native ant colonies. Some of them will be some of my favourite videos or photos I've ever taken of any ant. So as always, thanks for watching, take care, stay safe, bye!